All right, shalom, shalom. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Matiahu, your end time watchman, as you see right there on the screen. Thank you guys for joining me. You guys like a shirt? Check that out. Lion of Judah. Thought that was kind of cool. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. Welcome uh, to all the returning subscribers, all the new subscribers, all the new subs. Welcome to everybody. Love all you guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. I appreciate it. Every Shabbat talk, you guys are here. We're having a good time. We get a little frustrated and have some uh, arguments sometimes, but. Uh, by the end of it, I think we uh, wind up walking out, uh, uh, you know, agreeing to disagree and remain friends. So that's a good thing. Um, mm, oh, support the channel, guys. I really appreciate it. Hit those thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. I would really appreciate it. Once again, I'm not asking for money. I don't have a PayPal or a Patreon. I just want to get these videos out. I just want to get the message out there. So make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. Comment about the video. Leave me a shalom. How you doing? You know, whatever. Uh, listen, uh, uh, it, like I said, it helps get these videos and the algorithms and stuff like that. It ain't like I'm a popular channel or anything, but I think the topics we talk about are pretty popular. So today's lesson is, can we lose our salvation? You know that one saved, always saved thing? Well, I'm saved and I'm saved forever. You know, I don't even know if most people know what salvation actually mean, is or means or what it requires uh, or what is required of us. Um, so can we lose our salvation? The simple answer to that question is yes. We can lose our salvation. It's possible. It's, it's possible to know the truth and walk away from it. That's, a, that's, that's huge. It's a huge possibility because you can do it. It's not beyond the realm of you not being able to walk away from anything that you don't want. Yahushua doesn't force himself upon you or his will upon you. His will will be done in your life and in the world, but he doesn't force it. He doesn't force his love or anything like that. Neither do we. It's not serene. That's not our job. It's not our job to judge anybody on what they're doing or force them to take anything that we're saying. Our job is to tell the truth and be obedient to Yahusha, speak with boldness and courage, and be and, and with courage, be filled with joy, um, be kind, be gentle, all these different things. Um, I know on my Shabbat talks, I can get a little lively, and you guys have noticed that. But on these weekly videos, and the majority of my videos that I've made, I've made quite a few videos. It's just me chit-chatting with you guys, having a talk. I'm being very gentle and very kind. I've been on here for three years, and I've been very patient, waiting for you guys to kind of come along. And uh, I understand that in your own time, when Yahushua wants you to get there, you'll get there. So I have to learn how to be a little bit more patient on your guys' journey and your walk, okay? Anyways. Can we lose our salvation? Yes. Once saved, always saved? Absolutely not. And I shouldn't say saved. That's kind of not a good word. The word that I would use is in covenant. Are you in covenant with Yahushua? Have you, re have you repented and been immersed in his name? And are you being obedient to Yahushua's will, to his commandments? So the first thing is repentance and immersion in the true name, Yahushua. That's for salvation. That's how you can receive your salvation. Does it mean that you're granted eternal salvation? Absolutely not. Because you can lose your salvation while you're here on this planet. The reason why is because I'm seeing it all over YouTube. I'm, I'm watching people throw away their salvation left and right. You know what I mean? I see it in the world. You guys are noticing it. But repentance and immersion in the name is crucial. It's the first step in obedience. Okay? Obedience is the key to... to, to 
pretty much guarantee your salvation is secure, is to be obedient. That's why people are walking around scared. They don't they have to pray all the time. They always got to do all these things. They're all worried and nervous and fearful because they don't know that their salvation is secure because they're being disobedient. If you're, let me put it like this. If you're obedient to the Father and you follow his commandments, you have nothing to fear, nothing to worry about. You won't walk around feeling guilty or worried or, you know what I mean? Remember, his burden is light. Remember that? That's what Yahushua was talking about. He knew in the future how we were going to act. You know, and he was telling us, as we were acting back then, he was telling us, you know, don't worry about all these other things. Just follow my commands. Be obedient to my Torah. Be obedient to my word. And you'll have nothing to fear, nothing to worry about. Nothing will harm you. I'm not saying that this world won't beat you up and Satan ain't going to try to kick your butt. Of course he is. We're not naive in this walk. We know exactly that we fight against principalities, not against people. I'm not upset with any people that are out there. I'm upset with the doctrine that comes out of them. I want that to be very clear. Okay? I'm frustrated with the with the things that are coming out of people's mouth, not with the people. You know what I mean? I love everybody. That's our job. Our job is to love. Now, to secure your salvation. Once you go into the water, you have salvation. Absolutely. But to secure that salvation, because you have a life to live after you go into the water, there's more to life after that, guys. There's a whole walk, right? It's not hard. It's very easy. People want to make it hard. That's why they're all bumping their heads everywhere they go. They got lumps everywhere, guys. You see all their lumps. You don't see no lumps on my head. I'm not saying I don't mess up. I ain't perfect. Don't look at me. I ain't the example. I say this quite a bit. Yahushua is the example. To secure your salvation, it lies in being obedient. So once you repent and you go into the water in immersion, right? Obedience. And you make that commitment to Yahushua, you are you have salvation, but to secure your salvation and to keep your salvation, grow in Yahushua, you have to read your word. You know, you have to have the Ruach HaKadosh in you. You have to be obedient is the biggest thing. Obedience. You can't just say, well, I believe in Yahushua. There's a lot of people on the internet right now. I believe in Yah or I believe in Yahushua and listen to what they're saying, guys. They're very confused. They're very vague. They don't know what they're talking about. They can't tell you about salvation. Very simply, they, they're not... They're not giving you guys what you guys need, the food, simple things. Now, if you stop being obedient after you went into the water, if you're obedient and then you stop being obedient, yes, there's a chance you can lose your salvation if you stop being obedient. What do you think Yahushua's going to do? You know? A lot of people start willfully sinning still. They go into the water and they come out and they still willfully sin. You can't willfully sin. You have to be obedient. It's not hard, guys. It's mostly all on you and in your minds and in your hearts. Where's the change? You know what I mean? If your heart's in the right place and your mind's telling you, then just do it. You know what I mean? Don't fight yourself. And don't fight Yahuwah. Really, it's Yahuwah is who you're fighting. You're fighting against the Ruach. You're going to lose the battle on that, trust me. Don't fight Yahusha. Just let him in. Just let go, guys. Just let go. Be obedient. Follow his commands. Real simple, guys. Just let go. Stop holding on to all to the world or whatever it is you're holding on to. I don't know what it is with you guys. Remember, if you stop being obedient, you can lose your salvation. You can't not be obedient and think that you can claim the name Yahushua and go walking around calling yourself a Nazarene because you have knowledge. Knowledge is not what gets you into the kingdom, believe it or not. Is there wisdom and knowledge in the Ten Commandments? Absolutely. There is wisdom in being obedient. Absolutely. And another thing is you can't know the truth, know the actual truth about Yahushua and then leave that and then go teach falsehood. That's blasphemy of the Ruach HaKadosh. That's blasphemy. You call it the Holy Spirit. It's the Ruach HaKadosh. That's blasphemy of the Ruach, which is unpardonable. You don't come back from that. You don't know the truth and then teach blasphemy. That's what we see all over YouTube or all in the, all in the circuses or all on TV. People that know the truth but teach blasphemy anyways. Remember, guys, transgression of the law. What's transgression of the law, guys? That's sin. What's the wages of sin, guys? The wages of sin is death. Remember that. Keep that in mind. That's why we need to ask for forgiveness and repent of our sins. Go to the water. And when we come out of the water, make a covenant with Yahushua and say, I am going to be obedient to you and your word. From this day forward, I belong to you. I follow you. All the chips get thrown in, guys, like you're in a poker game. All the chips, you put all your chips in. I follow you. 
And you alone, Yahusha, you are my creator. You are my Yah. You are my Allahim. Live inside me. Make me a new person. Make, make me, help me to love other people. Help me to be gentle. Help me to be kind. Help me to teach your name and help me to immerse the nations in your name. Number six, the last thing is you can't live a life willfully sinning, okay? You can't live that kind of lifestyle, guys. If it becomes a lifestyle, there's a problem, okay? There must be progress. If you're just in this walk with Yahushua and it's every day, every week, every month, every year, and you're not progressing, you're not learning, you're not growing, there's a problem. It's because you're probably doing something in your life. You're being disobedient to Yahushua, so he's not revealing himself to you. You have to be obedient, and he'll reveal all to you. He wants to reveal so much to you. The foundational, simplistic nature of Yahushua, his ten commandments, his 10 words, his covenant of love, if you will. So can you lose your salvation? Absolutely. Yes, you can. And it's sad that that it happens, but people do know the truth and then they do walk away from it. And we're going to see a lot of that coming up in these end times. Get ready for it, guys. Get ready for it. So if you want to secure your salvation, hold on to it like a football. You know how running backs, they hold on to it a certain way so they don't fumble the ball. Well, here's your salvation, that ball, and you want to secure it and hold it tight like the running back, right? They tuck it in like this, and they hold it, and they put their head down, and they go forward. Holding it tight. Salvation is the ball. The, the, the grip that you're putting on it is your obedience to hold on to, your, to secure your salvation. Secure it. Hold on to it. Be obedient. Follow the ten words. Follow his Torah. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love Yahuwah. Don't murder. Don't steal. Don't break wedlock. Right? Don't lie. Don't covet. Don't bear false witness, which is the gossip and slander, which is entailing with lying. Don't blaspheme. Remember Shabbat. Guard it as Kodesh. Love Yahuwah, your Elohim. He is. Have no others before his face. No idolatry. Respect your father and your mother. All right? Don't murder. That means hatred in your heart. Don't have hatred for your fellow man. Don't want to have hatred for me because I don't have hatred for you guys. I might disagree and I'm, I might be disappointed when I hear certain things, but I don't hate anybody. You know, we're supposed to love everybody. I have no personal vendetta against any man or woman. My vendetta is against Hasatan, but the judgment will go for Yahushua. He's the one that judges. It ain't up for me to judge you. Now, I point out things that I see, yeah, within the body because I feel that it's necessary to point these things out because I want everybody to have salvation. I want us all to be in unity on one page. As you see on this part of my screen right here, what does it say, guys? It says we're to be, we're called to be set apart in truth, not unified in lies. Set apart in truth, not unified in lies. I don't know if you guys read this stuff on the side of my screen here. So I want to be in unity with everybody. I want us all to be in unity, so... Can we lose our salvation? Yes. But we can secure our salvation after we come out of the water by being obedient. If you're obedient, you really have nothing to worry about. That's my personal opinion on that. All right? A scripture says it too, believe it or not. I, I should have just gave you some scripture. Scripture says uh, 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 that the Torah is like a lamp and a light to our feet. It's a light to our path. So it only brings... It only brings... Um, 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 eternal life, right? It's not going to lead you astray, guys. It's going to bring you to the truth. Listen, I love you guys with all my heart. Thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, like I said, please give them thumbs up. The Fonzies, hey, I appreciate it. Also, leave a comment in the comment section. You guys, leave those comments. Go to all my videos. If you guys are fans of mine, go to all my videos, leave a comment. Give them a thumbs up right now. Get my videos out there, guys. That's how you get them out. Share my videos, all right? But make sure you leave a thumbs up or a comment so we can get these in the algorithm, guys. We want to grow over here, and I want more not stream to come here. Uh, you guys can join me every Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for my Shabbat Talks where I go live, and you guys can talk with me live in my chat or I put a link in the chat and you guys can come on live and actually talk with me, ask questions, give a testimony, talk about the faith topic, okay? Sometimes it gets a little lively, I'm just gonna let you know, it gets a little lively over here on my channel, okay? So beware, um, we step on toes over here, so if you ain't got steel toe boots, go buy a pair. Remember, we're the salt of the earth, guys, as the scripture says. Salt irritates, go irritate somebody, right? Go work for your king, all right? 
our creator says to go immerse the nations, so we should be busy. Um, I know I'm pretty busy, and I'm a nobody, so, you know, what's your guys' excuse? Get to work. Uh, listen, and I say that with all the love in my heart, man. I just want us to, to, to be courageous and get the word of Yahusha out there and, and about salvation. It's the most important thing, guys, salvation. Be obedient to his Ten Commandments, guys, so you can keep your salvation. So you can love Yahuwah and love your fellow neighbor. By the way, that's another thing I forgot to remember, forgot to mention. If you're obedient to the ten words, you will love your neighbor and love Yahuwah in a way that you never thought possible before. You're gonna, you're not gonna have this feeling in you like we, like you have before. It's gonna be different. He will change your heart. So every Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, join me for my Shabbat talks. I love you guys with all my heart. Thank you guys for joining me once again. Uh, I apologize if I if I'm if last Shabbat or any of these Shabbats or when I talk if I'm rude or impudent I, that is not my intention I just want to bring the truth I know I get very passionate guys uh, please you know just 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 you know pray that we all have an understanding on these things I'm still growing I'm still learning this is a walk for all of us okay some of us are further than others obviously so anyways I love you guys with all my heart um, thank you guys for joining me and let me get ready here at the end of all my videos you guys know this say it with me throw it in the comment section if you guys want give it a thumbs up if you like the like my outro but at the end of all my videos I love 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 to say run to Yahusha.